Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 25th of 2020. Well, it is titled Moon over Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two images taken uh, separately and then put together. So there's an image of the moon that we see and there is an image of the Andromeda galaxy. Now you can never actually get an image like this because the moon's orbit would not put it near the Andromeda galaxy. So it would never pass in this direction in the sky. However, we can put two separate images taken to compare the scales of the objects and how they are seen from Earth. Now the moon is very close to us uh, about one light second away light takes only about a second to get to the moon. And the Andromeda galaxy on the other hand is about two and a half million light years away. So this is a great size comparison as we can look at the two and see that in the sky the Andromeda galaxy is actually bigger than the moon in terms of angular size. Now we know that the Andromeda galaxy is far bigger than the moon. But when you look at the Andromeda galaxy in the sky you really lose a lot of that emphasis as to how big it actually is. How large is the Andromeda galaxy? And when you think about that, it's actually the most distant object that can be seen with the naked eye. However, because the brightness is spread out over the entire galaxy, it doesn't look as bright as some other objects that we may see. So the brightness is spread out and that makes it look very faint and you see a faint fuzzy patch if you look in the sky in the direction of this galaxy. The moon on the other hand is very bright and in fact pretty much uniformly bright across the surface and therefore looks very very bright by comparison and we always look at it as one of the larger objects. But here we can see that you can fit a number of full moons across the Andromeda galaxy giving an idea of how large this object actually does appear in the sky. Now, the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy are actually moving closer together. So this will increase over time. And the Andromeda galaxy will continue to look slightly larger. Will we ever notice that over a lifetime or even over a dozen lifetimes? No, it will take billions of years before they get close together. But in the in, a, in a four or five billion years or so, it will actually dominate the night sky stretching across much as our own Milky Way galaxy does now. But here in our picture for today, we can get a very good size comparison by taking two separate images and putting them together to compare how large each of these appears on the sky today. So that was our picture of the day for September the 25th of 2020. It was titled Moon over Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Observe the Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.